Hi everyone, today's recipe is very quick and simple. We are making uh, coconut pandan waffles. It has a nice golden brown and green color and great flavor of coconut and pandan, which I'm sure you will fall in love at the first try. So let's begin. In a large mixing bowl, crack one egg and beat it for about 30 seconds or until it's nice and fluffy. Then add in 300 ml coconut milk, that is about one and a quarter cup. Stir to incorporate the two ingredients together. Then add in about a quarter teaspoon of pandan extract, which will give the cake a nice green color and beautiful pandan aroma. Stir well again and you will see your batter turn into nice green color. For the dry ingredients, you will need 1 cup of all-purpose flour, 2 tablespoons of cornstarch, which will make your waffle more crispy, 1 third cup of granulated sugar. Of course, you can adjust the sugar amount to your taste. We also need half a cup coconut flakes, a teaspoon of baking powder, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Then mix it all up and we're gonna combine the dry ingredients with the wet ingredients. I'm adding in two batches so that it's easier to mix and avoid big pockets of flowers. When finished mixing, you will get a kind of thick batter and just let it rest for about 10 minutes. Meanwhile, you can preheat your waffle maker following manufacturer instructions. Then grease it with some melted butter. It would be more convenient if you use a pastry brush. But mine was stolen by someone, so I have to do like this. Remember to grease the upper part of the waffle maker as well. Then scoop one ladle full of the batter into the middle of the waffle maker. This recipe makes three waffles with a 20 cm or 8 inch diameter. Then close it and maybe hold for about 3 seconds so that the batter is distributed evenly. Then just wait for him to do his job and ta-da! When it's on golden brown on both sides, you just take it out and let it rest on a cooling rack for a few minutes. The waffle is crispy on the outside and soft and chewy with bits of coconut from the inside. You can just eat it like that or maybe grease some honey or maple syrup or powdered sugar on top. You can make this for your family on a Saturday or Sunday morning for breakfast. And I hope that everyone will love them. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.